In this clip, we are going to rank the biggest LLMs in terms of coding capabilities. We will have three criteria in mind while doing this. First one, code generation accuracy and complexity. Here we are going to answer the following questions. Can the LLM generate code snippets that are correct and functional? Can it handle more complex coding tasks? And how error prone is the generated code? Next, understanding of programming concepts. Here we are going to evaluate how many programming languages an LLM master and how aware it is of algorithms and data structure patterns. Next, we will check if the target LLM can identify issues in code. And finally, we will check how well can the LLM explain a given code snippet. Let's start by evaluating the latest GPT-4 model from OpenAI. Even though many people reported recent issues with it, it is still one of the best language models out there. It performed amazingly well for each of the criteria. Let's test it together. For the first criterion, I will be asking the model to implement a function to compute the dynamic time warping distance between two multidimensional time series. I already have the test data, and we expect the following result, 2.573. The algorithm is quite complex, and it can be used to determine how smart LLMs are in handling complex problems. Let's ask GPT-4 to output the algorithm for us. We use the algorithm in a new file, and I will add the two multidimensional arrays, and we'll call the function for computing the dynamic time warping distance. If we run this, it seems we will get the right result. From the perspective of error handling, GPT-4 did not implement any type of handling. I would have expected to at least check that the input parameters are not null, and if they are indeed numpy arrays. For evaluating how GPT-4 reads code, Let's use an implementation of the Bellman-Ford algorithm written in C++. I removed the function name so that it doesn't get any clue from its name. This way we see how it handles other programming languages too. And as we can see, it manages to find it and it provides a good explanation of the code. I rate GPT-4 in the supreme category. It's one of the best LLMs out there in terms of coding capability. Next model, Gemini we will use the same prompt to generate the dynamic time warping distance algorithm. We can see from the start that the result looks a bit better. Gemini managed to output the algorithm with fewer lines of code. Let's test it and see if it's also correct. And as we can see, we get the expected output. In addition to what GPT-4 gave us, Gemini also gave us the test data with the same result, which is definitely a plus for this model. Let's see how it's performing when reading code. I am going to use the same question as we had for GPT-4. And it managed to find the right answer too. As a result, I will rank Gemini at the top here in the supreme category. Next one, Code Llama. This is an open LLM created by Meta with 70 billion parameters. You can use it through the Hugging Face chat interface. The code outputted for our challenge by this LLM is quite interesting. The code is similar to the one outputted by the supreme LLMs However, it has an extra import, which may impact the startup time for the script, making it less performant. Moreover, the code is not very well documented as in the other examples. When asked about the C++ algorithm, CodeLama is able to identify it successfully, outputting a very good description of it. I will rate it in the A category, not as good as Gemini or GPT-4, but good enough to help you with most of your day-to-day -day coding challenges. Let's move on to the next one. Mistral. This model over here is an open source one developed by Mistral AI. I will put it in the C category and I'm going to show you why. This is the code outputted by this model. At a glance, we can see it's also outputting the path, which is not a requirement, but it's nice to have. However, this code will output the squared Euclidean distance between points in the time series. While this is a valid approach, this is not the standard Euclidean distance. Running the script will give us an incorrect result and the path. Asking it to identify the algorithm in the C++ code will also output a wrong result. Overall, it's a good model, but it doesn't compare with the ones we've seen previously. Finally, let's see how the OpenChat LLM performs. Trained with 7 billion parameters, it's not really a coding model, but it's worth evaluating since it beats most of the models in the 7 billion parameter group. This model performed the worst compared with the others. The code outputted by it didn't even compile, and it couldn't identify the correct algorithm, 
from the C++ file, therefore I will rate it in the D category. And that's about it. We've seen that the most potent LLMs are not the open source ones. However, you can still use CodeLama, which performs very well on most of the day-to-day -day coding challenges. Let me know in the comment section below if you wish to see more content like this, or if you want me to test other LLMs too. Until next time, happy coding.